Hello, Hello Chris, James. Chris James. How are you? How are you? Oh, hi. Uh, can you hear me? Loud and clear. Thank you for calling in. Oh, fantastic. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. My name is actually Murky. I go by Murky. I'm using a friend's account. I, I'm trying to, figure out how, trying to figure out how to change the name, but you can't change the name. I don't even know how to do it. How are you, though? I'm really loving the show. Uh, thank you so much. I'm doing well. I will refer to you as Murky from here on out. Ah, uh, that's so nice. Yeah. So basically, I'll be honest. I call a lot of shows. I am. Um, cool. I work for a program called the Not Even a Show. Um, and basically, I do the cold opens. I'm legendary for doing the cold opens. Love I that. am perfect. Yeah, I'm perfect this season. I've gotten every single one. But most of the shows I call are like really low budget kind of shows. And so I'm really excited because you have a proper tech setup. And basically, all I need for you to do to to uh, uh, get this cold open popping off is to say let's start the show and if you could do it with like some you know if you could use some i got type you. of uh, you know yeah! uh, you probably got some sounds and like some crazy cool stuff like make it kind of cool you don't have to but that would be am amazing. i gonna be on the show is that what's happening here well, it's not even a show as the thing, but yeah, I mean, it's the cold open, so it's before we even start things off, right, basically. Uh, I got this. Yeah, here we go. Let's start the show. Absolutely unbelievable. I knew you would nail it. Thank you, Tetro. Did and I honestly, crush it? thank you for. You crushed it, and thank you for what you do. And honestly, given this type of tech advice and stuff is wonderful. You are one of the, the shining lights of people that I talk to. You're lovely. I love you. Have a good day, my friend. Have a good day. Thank you so much for calling in. Bye. Chat, I don't know what just happened, but that was fun, I guess. <laughs> Sorry if you thought it so, but this is not even a show. Saturday night. Folks, there's a new kid in town. SNL is going down. There's no need to give us thanks. Just tune in and watch the pranks. Yeah, one call, a two call, a three call, four. Just when you think we're finished, then we call once more. You're in a little battle and we're fighting a war. How can you stop the pranks when we're pranksters to the core? It's NEAS Saturday night, yeah. It's NEAS Saturday, Saturday night, yeah. Musical guest, Keith Carradine. Your host, Zack Snyder! Oh, hey everyone, it's me, Snides. Uh, Zack Snyder, the famous uh, and well respected, beloved film director, and I'm here hosting NEAS Saturday Night. Wow, this has been a long time coming. I feel like it's, uh, I feel like I've been waiting 300 years to do this. Um, it is a fairly long episode. It's not quite as long as I wanted it to be. It also has uh, some color in it, which I was uh, very much opposed to. I fought hard to get rid of the color. I wanted it entirely gray, uh, but they did go with the color version. Uh, I will say that in a couple of years, perhaps, there might be a, a better version of this episode for you to watch. And that's a reference to the Snyder Cut, which just came out uh, on HBO Max. Um, but we do have a good episode for you uh, anyways this week. It's pretty good. It's not bad. Uh, it could be better. Um, but we've got calls to J.J. McCartney, Wayne Allen Root, John James, and Bradley Dean. First, though, Rudy Giuliani's been struggling to do his own radio show lately. He often loses connection and somebody else has to take over the show. And no, I'm not joking about that. But we did catch him on a rare day where he was able to take calls, and we called him about our favorite thing. So check it out. Eric from, from Connecticut. Oh, wow. Uh, good afternoon, Mr. Mayor. Good um, afternoon, Eric. I'm, I'm, how are you doing? I'm anyway. Um, I'm doing great. Uh, oh, good to hear. Uh, anyway, uh, photos are coming out of, uh, from Texas. The detention centers were seeing these kids in the uh, what looked like aluminum sleeping bags or foil, who knows what they are. And you know, the past four years, nothing but the liberals 
screaming, calling for the head of Trump every time we see photos of these places. So I'm wondering about the hypocrisy of all this and wondering your thoughts on what uh, Kam- Kamala... God, I can never pronounce I, 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 it. Kamala- Kay, Kay Harris. We'll call it Kay. Yeah, Kay, Just well, think, Kay I, I don't, Harris. I'm not sure. I don't, I don't want to get it wrong because who knows what I'll be yeah. accused of. <laughs> I'll call for you. Vice next. President uh, Harris. I'm, wonder, I'm wondering what you think about what Kay Harris said this morning about the places. I think, she, first of all, I think somebody should teach her how to, how to salute our, our soldiers. She's Absolutely. the first president or vice president since Ronald Reagan began the practice, including, by the way, Barack Obama and, and Biden. They saluted our soldiers. She walks by with a contemptible, like, look at them. What does she have against our soldiers? I don't know, but what do you think about what she said about the place this morning that's all over the place? Oh, I mean, it just, it seems like it's her, it's her attitude. It just, it seems like it's her, it's her attitude. This woman hates. No, no, no. What? Well, tell me, tell me what she said. Well, she said something along the lines of, while the optics aren't that great, it's not half as bad as marrying her cousin. Oh, she was talking about me. Oh, she was talking about me. Well, okay. You're an idiot, aren't you, Eric? <laughs> You're an idiot, Eric. You really are. But that wasn't bad, though. You got, you know, you got your, your time in. The Fat Master is an old caller who basically phones up and jacks off to homophobic radio hosts. He's not around much anymore, but he really wanted to get in one final call to his white whale, the most homophobic person on the radio, the preacher, Bradley Dean. Go look him up. Bradley with two E's. Search his name and see what we're dealing with and then watch this call. Check it out. Uh, we got Phil calling in from Idaho. Welcome to the Sons of Liberty. What say you, my friend? Oh, hey, thank you for taking my call, Bradley. Appreciate it. Appreciate you doing the show on the road from the hotel room as well. It's nice. We really appreciate it, sir. Thank you. Um, yeah, you, a nice hotel room, too. It's cool to see inside the hotel room, sort of see where you sleep and do all of your <laughs> business and everything like that. It's kind of interesting, kind of intimate a little bit. It's, let, let me say it this way. I would never, um, you know, you said it was a really nice hotel room. If I was to take the camera and kind of go around a little bit, what you try to capture is always the nicest portion or piece of the hotel to actually broadcast in front of. But no complaints here, but I can tell you this right now. It's nothing that the common man could not afford in any sense of the word. But I do, again, appreciate your thoughts. Oh, that's that's smart of you to say that. That's good. Yeah, you look good too. You're looking great, by the way. I don't know. You're you're staying well rested, I guess. You're a handsome man, Bradley. I will say that, sir. <laughs> Thank you, Phil. <laughs> uh, you know what? People are going to start thinking I'm paying you to do this, Phil. So let's get to the topic. What's your question or comment? Uh, no, but you're not paying me to do this, but I'll tell you what, I'm making something batching off to you right now. I'm watching the show kind of batching off, enjoying it, and just running a batch on you right now running a batch on you right now cool cool so what's what what do you want to bring to the table phil well i mean some lube perhaps to the table would be helpful um i don't know maybe a condom for easy okay folks so we're gonna just keep moving on here we got obviously a sodomite trying to call in and be real cute right uh, but let's go on to the next caller. We have Chris calling from the British Columbia. Thank you for calling in, man. I appreciate it. We broadcast into 53 countries, so apparently you're bringing it from one of those countries. So again, welcome to the Sons of Liberty. What say you, my friend? Hey, it's me again. I'm about to come. All right. There you go, guys. Isn't that cute? It shows you the sick minds of the sodomites right there, friends. Isn't that absolutely amazing? And uh, so anyways, with that said, friends, we're just going to go on to the next topic. It shows you the sick-minded people that think that they're playing uh, with their God-given rights. And the fact of the matter is, listen to me, Philip. 
Uh, God is not mocked, for whatever a man sows, that shall he also reap. And he who sows to the flesh shall of the flesh reap corruption, and he who sows to the Spirit will reap everlasting life. Just keep in mind, the Lord is a swift witness against those that hate him, and hateful means to disobey him. And uh, obviously you're in that category right now, and my message to you is, brother, repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand, because you, sir, are not promised tomorrow. And I've noticed people such as yourself who want to go ahead and test your tinfoil against uh, a just and a holy God, you're either on your way through judgment or you're going to repent. We'll be right back. It's not my way to watch a normal porno movie. It's not my way to look at photos on my phone. It's not my way, see all I've got, and it does help a lot Is when a homophobe is streaming, I get hot Please stop pulling on your pud while I am trying If you could understand how horny this makes me I never cared too much for games so if I'm driving you insane Please just take the other line Except it's the same Cause I'm batching Yeah, I'm batching Fatmaster, that is my name And I'm playing my own game And I'm batching Butch called up John James last week and had a fantastic first conversation. It really felt like the beginning of a wonderful friendship. And so Butch called back this week, but he got into it a little bit with John James and they had a little bit of a debate. Well, let's see who won. Check it out. Hold on. Let me see if we have somebody still on the line here. Let's try this one. Hello. Hello. hello you're on, you're with, on with John. John. Are, you, Are there? you there? Nobody there? Hey, oh, hello. Th hello. Hey, hello. Hey, it's Butch. Hey, how are you doing, Butch? Yeah, it's Butch oh. calling. How's you, how are you doing? Good. I'm doing good, Butch. Hold on. Let me see if there's somebody on the other line. Is somebody there on the other line? Hello. Hey, it's Butch. Okay. You're, you're on both lines? That doesn't seem no, I right. Ju I was just on one line. Oh, I was just on one line. On a one line. All right, we'll hang the other one up then. How you doing, buddy? Uh, I, was, I was doing okay. Yeah, you got um, climate change is uh, is thank. There's nothing, no such thing for uh, not not even such a thing. It's and I and I like it to get hot. If it's if they say global warming, I say, oh yeah, okay. I guess I'll get, I'll get on my uh, swim, um, you know, on my swim trunks and yeah, go yeah. outside on the beach. Loves to talk. But he don't know Butch. He's your favorite caller, and his name is Butch. That's, well, yeah, you can do that. You can't do. I mean, the colder it gets, I mean, that's that slows progress on everything. The, the Earth is warming. There's no question about it. Uh, Man-made, yeah. man-made catastrophic warming. Uh, no, not so much. It's, no, it, I don't think so either. Not, not a man-made. Um, and and I, I was reading on how. Uh, how, uh, how uh, this, sometimes the scientists will, they say um, that it's a global warming. But and my question for you are because I'm on, I don't do a science, and but how come they say it's uh, climate change is real if the scientists who do be, who study on it? Uh, 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 I'll give you. There are two things uh, you have to know. Okay. Number number one, uh, United okay. Nations. This is a United Nations. Uh, thing funded thing and the the scientists wow you but, sound but, like you know about as much as on it as me on it <laughs> well say, oh it's like a it's like a united nations thing it, like. it, it is it <laughs> is it's a united nations thing i i mean this is yeah. all the you know and unfortunately one of the nations uh that is not going to have to abide by anything with the paris climate accord is China the biggest polluter oh, in the I world? Know you, but I so, know you're going to make it on China. I yeah. thank you, John. I was I was worried you wasn't going to make oh. it on China and bring it on China. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. China is not having to have a doing on a Paris climate. So you think a scientist? But how come they want us to be think it's global warming? What do they get for money? It? Money. There's a lot of uh, there's a lot yeah. of lot of money in this. And and by yeah. the way, 
By the way, they say that 97 or 98 percent of the scientists uh, agree yes. that we're in a yes. catastrophe. No, not true. It's a lie. It's all a big ruse. First of all, they didn't poll every single scientist. Second of all, a lot of the scientists. Well, well hang on, hang on one second, John. Why are they going to pull them? They, uh, they push and pull on them? No, no, I mean, they, they questioned the science. Are you on board with this? And they didn't even ask the question about is man-made climate change going to kill us? They That's couldn't. So stupid to say that global warming is going to be kill us because it's probably is guns, right? Um, well, everyone is shoot, shoot by guns in, in America. Well, How uh, come, I have a friend live in Alberta. I have a friend live in Alberta and his name is uh, Bob and he lived with his wife in Alberta. He say in Canada, they don't they don't have so many shooting all the time everybody's shooting how come everybody in america we're always doing a big shooting well you know there are mass shootings but they're, they're over they're not as many as you they, know they are there are john but but did you know but, maybe here's but. a fact maybe you didn't know first of all okay. law-abiding gun owners are yeah. some of the most considerate and some of the safest people in the world, it is the, the guy who did the, the both of these two shootings is gun, is law abiding gun owners. Definitely want to want to shoot in um in uh, uh the massage parlor. He he bought a gun legally. He legal gun owner. Oh yeah, some some do buy them legally. Some people snap. Yep. There's no question about yeah. that. But, but you're not answering a question, John. How come in America so many people is uh, do mass shooting and another country doesn't happen so much? You're not you you're avoiding. Oh, oh no 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 no. First of all, yes, there are a lot of guns in America. Number one, and number yeah. two, there is a lot of unaddressed problems with mental health. In this country, in, in in Canada, same thing as in problems in mental health, but not as so many mass shootings. Do you think maybe there are a reason why? I think there's not. I, I, how many people are in Canada, Butch? How many people are there oh, in Canada? Less, no, but do you know what per capita means, idiot? Uh, do you know what per the, capita whoa, whoa, means? Whoa, 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 whoa! Don't call me idiot, or or that's like a sh you're being dumb, John. You're being dumb. If no, you I'm not. No, no, no. So I, I bad ar so I making bad arguments. You somehow lose the argument to me. And that's amazing to do. I, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't lose an argument to you. Yeah, you did. You lost the argument. Bye. You, do you know that two thirds of the people? Okay, there, there's there's a guy without an argument. There's a guy with. A, he didn't want to hear two thirds of the shootings in America. Two thirds. Two out of three are suicides. We don't call J.J. McCartney very much anymore. He doesn't do shows that much anymore. And that actually helps us because he's not expecting shirt calls. And that's what we do. We call him and we say the word shirt, and we've been doing it for years. And, well, we nailed him with another one. It's a throwback, baby. Check it out. Area code 447. 447. Hi, you're on the J.J. McCartney, McCartney Show. Who's show? this? Who's this? Oh, hello, this is John calling from London. How are you today, JJ? I'm doing fine, John. What's going on? Yeah, I just, um, I'm sorry to be like a, a bit of a, a negative Nancy with this, but um, I suppose I'm just really bummed about Biden being president because, as you know, we've um, just started our Brexit movement and, you know, Trump has a brilliant businessman. We were really looking forward to doing business with him and... I just don't really have faith that Biden's going to cut us a good deal. Uh, what, what do you think? Well, I think it's obvious that, um, that you know, and and honestly, when when the British passed Brexit, I think that was a leading indicator that Trump was going to win the presidency. Also, no, no, I can forget, we had NAFTA, too. Remember NAFTA? That was a big problem. NAFTA we had. Well, I that I was, not our Trump, that was not our Trump. That was under our Democrat party. It was under our Democrat rule. His name's not Butch, but the difference ain't Stark. JJ's favorite caller, and his name is Mark. So, so, so. Yeah, I mean, I mean, what, what is, sorry, what are the people, what are the people in Britain saying though? Yeah, what are they saying right now? Well, what we're saying right now is we were depending on Trump still for. You know, medical exports and above all else, shirts. 
shirt exports. Shirt, shirt, yeah, shirt, yeah, shirt. Yeah, Loads yeah, 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 well, you know, it is what it is, folks. The Brits are um, unfortunately infested with that kind of uh, nonsense. Don't worry about it. Uh, Mark, thank you for being with us today. Appreciate it. Really do. Wayne Allen Root had one of the most intense reactions to a prank phone call that anyone's ever seen. Unfortunately, he stopped doing his Newsmax TV show, so they weren't able to call him anymore. But they had a good idea, and that was, why don't they call his publicist and say that they have an interesting opportunity for Wayne? Well, that's what they did, and Wayne, being as desperate as he is, called back in about five minutes. Check it out. Hello, Mike Stein speaking. Hey, Mike, this is Wayne Allen Root. How are you? Oh, I'm doing well, Wayne. Thank you for calling me back. Um, so we were uh, looking at doing a, a conference. It would be online, obviously, with everything that's still happening. Um, but we're interested in you potentially being a keynote speaker at the event. And, and what kind of an event is this? Is this business? Um, yeah, it's a, it's a, basically it's a conference for washed up media losers who nobody gives a shit about anymore. Really? 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 So can I come and just have a good fight with you in the middle of a ring and pummel your head a few times? Is that what you'd like, Mike? I mean, I, I, I think I could easily. Are you a complete I, moron? I mean, I'm younger you than you. My and, phone number, yeah. You wanted my phone number so you could call me up and say something nasty about me? The lie detector test determined you're telling the truth. Have a nice life, you jerk off. Bye. All right, everyone, that's the end of the episode. And can you imagine it's only like 22 minutes in and we're already and we're done already? Like, what is this? Give me a break. You know, and if you're saying, oh, that's how long television is, 22 minutes. Not anymore. Not anymore. Television shows sometimes is one hour, are, is, are, is, uh, are one hour and 20 minutes long. And I've seen it with my own fucking eyes. You can go over to patreon.com slash not even a show. You can check out the Patreon episode this week. It's got Pete's perfect call. That's right. Pete the Patriot makes a perfect call. Check it out and enjoy yourself. And remember... Movies should have no color, but not be black and white. Just have no color and be only gray. Bye.